everybody! This week I'm going to be showing you how to make a gratitude chalkboard. Because this week is Thanksgiving here in the United States, one of my favorite holidays, I wanted to do this simple craft to encourage everyone to make giving thanks a habit. By writing at least one thing on our chalkboard of gratitude, we are taking notice of the wonderful blessings that are in our lives. This small gesture of giving thanks will blossom into the awareness of many more blessings that we often overlook. By noticing and being aware of the many blessings in our lives, we open the door to joy and we begin to notice and see many more blessings. So let me show you how easy it is to make one of these gratitude chalkboards. I bought a small chalkboard that I found in the craft section at Walmart. The first thing I do is drill small holes in the top two corners of the chalkboard. I will be using wire to hang it, but you could use picture hanging hardware if you don't want to use wire. Follow your heart on how you would like to decorate your chalkboard. You don't have to follow my instructions exactly. Use your imagination. I love the harvest season, and so I wanted to decorate my chalkboard into a harvest theme. It makes me think of harvesting my blessings no matter what time of year it is. And yes, I will be hanging my chalkboard up all year long. <laughs> I used a nutmeg brand acrylic paint to paint the frame of my chalkboard. Pick a color of paint that will match the theme of your chalkboard. I am using wire that I bought at the hardware store to hang it with. I simply cut a piece of wire to about the length I want my chalkboard to hang. Push the ends of the wire through the holes and twist the ends around the wire a couple of times. Then I use my small pliers to twist the ends into swirls to add a decorative touch. Now use a pencil to lightly write the words, Today I am thankful for, at the top of the chalkboard. It is easy to erase pencil mistakes, so I use pencil to be sure my words fit before painting them. I use a white paint pen to trace over top of my words. Paint pens are easy to write with and it doesn't require a steady hand. If you do not have a paint pen, then you could use paint and a paintbrush. I used an eraser that I bought, but you could also make your own eraser by using a piece of felt. I decorated the back of my eraser with some ribbon that I found in my craft supplies. I used the paper on the back of the eraser to measure the size. Now I use my hot glue gun to glue my ribbon on the eraser. The next thing I do is cut a small piece of matching ribbon to go around my piece of chalk and then glue it along the seam. Then I slide the chalk out of the chalk tube and glue it on the back of the eraser like this. Now my chalk will always be handy and I never have to look for it when I want to write on my board. I used a piece of twine to hang my eraser off of the bottom of my chalkboard. I make it long enough to easily be able to erase it. Tie or glue it onto the eraser and onto the bottom of the chalkboard. To decorate my chalkboards, I used scrapbooking decals that I found on sale. It was easy and I thought it went perfectly with my theme. I used a decal to cover where I glued on the twine. Then I used other decals to decorate around the edges. I also added bows of twine on my wire. My gratitude chalkboard is ready to use. Today I am thankful for my beautiful life. Let this lovely craft encourage you to choose gratitude. And by choosing gratitude, you are choosing joy. I thank you all so very much for watching me make my gratitude chalkboard. And I hope it encourages you to create one too. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, no matter what part of the world you are from. I'll see you next time. Bye!